Hello and welcome. This is Chandni Nebnani and you are watching It's Tomorrow News. Tropical storm Carl Maggie to batter Philippines. Europe bombarded with heavy snow. Over the past few days, tropical storm Carl Maggie has been heading towards Luzon Island, bringing very heavy rainfall to the northeast of the Philippines. The storm, which is known locally as Ramon, made landfall in the early hours of Wednesday along the Santa Ana Gonzaga area. It is currently located about 300 kilometers to the northeast of the capital Manila. It has sustained winds of 100 kilometers per hour, with damaging gusts approaching 130 kilometers per hour. Kalmegi is expected to weaken quickly as it moves over land before emerging over Lingayan Gulf later on Wednesday, passing over or very close to Cape Bolinao, Pangasistan, and into the West Philippine Sea on Thursday. Even though the winds are expected to ease, heavy downpours and possibly floods will likely continue for a while. Apara in the province of Cagayan recorded 99 millimeters on Tuesday. Further bands, thunderstorms and gusty winds of rain are expected throughout the week across northern and northeastern parts of Luzon with downpours enhanced by the northeast monsoon. The remnants of Carl Maggie will then head towards southern Vietnam. It will quickly be followed by tropical storm Phong Wong, known locally as Sara. Located about 755 kilometers to the northeast of Manila, this storm is somewhat weaker with winds of 65 kilometers per hour, gusting 80 kilometers per hour. Phong Wong is not expected to hit the Philippines, but another pulse of heavy rain is still likely from the outer bands of the system as it tracks in a general northeast direction towards Taiwan this weekend. Fung Wong is also known as Tropical Cyclone Sara has intensified into a severe tropical storm into early Thursday, State Weather Bureau Pagasa said. The storm is now packing maximum sustained winds of 95 km per hour near the center and gustiness of up to 115 km per hour. Sara was last seen at 425 km east-northeast of Apari, Cagayan, as of 4 a.m., Pagasa said. Moving north-northwest at a speed of 25 km per hour, the storm is forecast to exit the Philippine area of responsibility on Saturday. Betans and Babuyan Islands remain under tropical cyclone wind signal number 1 and could experience wind speeds of 30 to 60 km per hour or intermittent rains within 36 hours. Isabella, Cagayan, especially on the eastern section, Aurora, Northern Quezon, Metro Manila and most of central Luzon may experience light to moderate rains with some isolated heavy rain showers due to Sara's trough or extension. A shallow magnitude 6.1 earthquake hit northwestern Laos near the Thai border early on Thursday, the United States Geological Survey reported. There were no immediate reports of damage after the earthquake hit at 6.50 a.m. local time. But shaking could be felt more than 700 kilometers away in the Thai capital, Bangkok. It hit about three hours after a magnitude 5.7 earthquake struck the same region of Laos near the site of the controversial Xayaburi Dam project. Meanwhile, Europe has been bombarded by wintry conditions bringing heavy snow and strong winds across the continent. Europe is bracing for extreme winter weather with freezing conditions, chilling winds and rain is set to continue. Snowfall is expected across more of Europe this week as temperatures continue to fall. BBC meteorologist said this is an area of low pressure that is going to come into play over the next couple of days in Western Europe. But it is this area of cloud that is the real concern at the moment, bringing yet more unsettled weather. Across the Alps, there will be some fresh snowfall again there. Spain has been hit by snow already this week, with more on the way as a new cold weather front moves in from the west. Spain will also be hit with more snow and rain as France experiences an increase in snowfall in some areas. The weather conditions vary across Europe as Turkey is set for sunshine this week, whereas thunderstorms are expected to rock Greece. The area of low pressure responsible is slowly drifting eastwards. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news, Chani Nebnani. For more weather updates, do like, share and subscribe our channel.